What's going on everyone? My name is Obi and welcome back to Courtside Financial. Today we're going to be talking about my expectations for NEO's Q4 2020 earnings report. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another video. And also make sure you hit that like button because it really does go a long way in helping out the channel. Lastly, if you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, make sure to click the link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. February 2nd to March 31st, when you open up your new brokerage account, you'll receive one free stock valued anywhere from $2.50 to $250. And when you make that initial deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive another free stock, and this free stock will be valued anywhere from $8 to $1,600. Lastly, cryptocurrency is now available on Weeble, so you can trade cryptocurrency on the platform with zero commission. So today we're going to be talking about NEO. It's currently 6.10 p.m. Eastern Time here in Michigan, and the stock is currently trading at $46.35. It is down 9.74% for the day and down 0.98% in the after hours. So NEO is scheduled to report their Q4 2020 earnings on Monday, March 1st, uh, after market close at 8 p.m., in my opinion, this is going to be NEO's most important earnings ever as they delivered the most vehicles that they've ever delivered in a single quarter uh, in Q4 2020. So Wall Street has a lot riding on this one here as investors are wondering, will NEO live up to the hype and top their Q3 2020 earnings and keep the momentum of uh, back to back to back to back good earnings uh, coming? So their Q3 earnings, in my opinion, did leave a lot to be desired. But this time around, we want to see um, high revenues. Uh, dramatically improved gross margins, a strong balance sheet. We already know that it's strong, so it won't really be a surprise, but um, we can see their cash position on paper. And of course, we want to see a narrowing net loss. Net loss has been moving in the right direction, so I'm not worried about that. So first things first, as I said, NEO delivered the most vehicles that they ever delivered in a single quarter. We have the numbers already, so that should be beneficial for their top line. So for my revenue expectation, I'm expecting NEO to do $910 million in revenue for the fourth quarter of 2020. And this is because NEO seems to be in line with the guidance that they gave us uh, in the Q3 earnings call for Q4. Uh, for example, that they said that they expect to deliver 16,500 to uh, 17,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter of 2020, uh, which at the high end would have been a 106% increase year over year. So like I said, we already know that they delivered a record 17,353 uh, vehicles, which was a 111% increase uh, year over year. So pretty much in line with the guidance they gave us, they actually outperformed. Uh, so I think it's safe to kind of defer uh, to the revenue guidance they gave us a little bit. And the revenue guidance that they gave us was 119.7% uh, to 126% increase year over year. So I actually just took the median value of that and uh, I increased last year's revenue by 122.5% uh, year over year. And that actually puts their revenue at around 910 uh, million for my expectation. And that's how I came to that number. Zach's actually expects them to do around $742 uh, million in revenue. So that would actually be a really good beat if I'm right. Oh, and by the way, NEO has been um, outperforming their expectations on average by 22%. So that would put them at around um, $905 million in revenue if the trend continued. The street also expects NEO to do uh, negative 14 cents per share uh, in EPS this quarter. I think that they beat on that. I mean, EPS has only been getting better and better every quarter. I think we see earnings per share at a loss of 11 cents per share or a smaller loss than that. Two things that I always keep an eye out on are gross margin and vehicle margin. Uh, in the last quarter, vehicle margin was 14.5% and gross margin was 12.9%. So there was some a little bit of room for improvement over here. I think Neo was still moving in the right direction uh, as far as their margins last quarter. Uh, but we want to see a dramatic increase, and there's a few reasons why. So guidance for the fourth quarter in terms of their uh, gross margin, they gave us an increase of 1% to 1.5%. That sounds a little too conservative for me, um, but that's what they're expecting on their behalf. We know that uh, the $120 million dollar 
I mean the 120 million RMB carbon credits are expected this time around. So I actually do see uh, gross margin being hovering around 20% this time, which would be a killer increase uh, in that uh, gross margin from 12.9. Uh, all the way up to 20% for Q4 2020. So last quarter, the company had a net loss of $154.2 million. We wanna see the loss narrowing. It was moving in the right direction uh, from last quarter. Aside from those numbers, I'm expecting to see some guidance for Q1 2021 um, as far as revenue and uh, as far as vehicle deliveries expected in this quarter. Um, aside from that, I want to hear some forward-looking statements on the European expansion and um, on the ET7 uh, pre-orders or just the ET7 in general. Lastly, I want to hear about the factory. Um, a lot of people are speculating that they, this factory could be used solely for the manufacturing of the ET7. So that's going to be it for this video. I want to know your guys' thoughts or expectations for NEO's Q4 uh, 2020 earnings that will be released on Monday. Um, at 8 p.m. after a market close Eastern time. So make sure you uh, hit the like button. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll link the free Discord in the description if you want to keep the conversation going there. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.